Hey everybody! I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Welcome to my channel. We're doing the Edith Holden collab. Tammy Van Antwerp and I are hosting, but there's other channels doing this. Um, Angela Toma with Dogwood Paper Arts. Uh, Dahlia over at Mandalay Crafts. Shannon from Mixed Media Minnesota. And if you put the hashtag Edith Holden, you'll come up with all kinds of ideas if you've got Edith Holden stuff. We're doing it through the month of September. It's still not too late. Today is the 20-something, 21th, 2nd, 21th, I think, 21st. So if you have Edith Holden stuff and you've been wanting to do stuff, then check out everybody's channel and let's light a candle. I use candles a lot um, when I had my mental health practice in the clinic um, before the fire marshal warned me that if he caught me lighting candles he was gonna uh, ground me from them. We lit candles all the time. Uh, they smell really good if you get a good quality candle like the ones that Tammy's husband makes. They, there's something about a flame that brings life to a room. It also brings warmth to a room. And I light candles at home all the time. I burn incense and light candles. Uh, I light candles on special occasions, like um, my mother's birthday, I'll get up in the morning and I will light a candle. What it does for me is I light the candle, I say a little prayer, I put that out there into the room. You know, I love you, Mom. Miss ya. And as I go about my day, when I pass the candle or when a whiff of that aroma catches me, I think, hi, Mom, you know? So in my hobby room in my studio when I'm creating it's a little different in that I actually light the candle to set the mood to set my intention and um, I've, I light a candle too to compartmentalize and say you know I, I know there's a lot going on in the world but right now I'm gonna create and that is why I light the candle. Okay, I have been working a little bit off screen, but um, not a lot. I, gosh, I'm looking at these other channels. Tammy, that grunge thing you're doing, what? where does that come from? Oh, love it. I love it. Love it. And Angela's book is great. All of it. They're just awesome. Last time I wanted to do this little flip thing, and I'm going to put a card in here. So I've got this almost complete, but my little buttons aren't done. And I can't finish them until they've dried a little bit. So I've got to move on. I hope they're dry enough to finish this while I'm still doing this video. I'm going to check my time, too. Okay. So, this is... Uh, I'm behind. Um, I think Tammy's on video eight. And I am on... I think I'm on seven. I think I forgot to check this one off. But I believe this is video seven for me. This has been such a, this has really been fun. Really been fun. I really like the idea of doing a collab for a longer period of time because, you know, life does happen. And it's nice to just, just have fun. Don't, you know, don't make it a deal. Just, just enjoy yourselves. 
Um, Robin, I got your email. I just saw a flash of the current stuff that you're on. <laughs> you're so talented. But I do need to go back. I want to really, really take a good look at them and then forward them on to everybody for them to see. Robin Powell is doing that. She doesn't have a channel, but she should. We've all taken a consensus that Robin should have a channel. <laughs> I've been waiting for what to do to use this. Um, I just love it. And I think I found... Yeah, I... I think I think this is what I want to do. So let's see. It'd be unfortunately that little tear is right in the way, but it's fine. We're gonna. So Tammy is doing her second book for the Edith Holden collab. <laughs> Girl, your your eye for color is really impressive. Love it. I think I'll go ahead and cut this up. I really like that little number there, but it's not worth saving all of this. And I can use this for other things. Now, I, I really don't want this to cover the whole page. So I think we'll go about right here. See how I can put this on here. Let's take this off. Should be able to mm, yeah I, I do think I'll glue this flat down what I'm thinking out in my head right now is I have not been distressing things and I'm wondering if this is gonna have to be distressed I don't know hmm What I'm looking at is I wanted to do something like this. I think that'll work. Now, I need something under this, so it needs to be, oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. Maybe not. Just kidding. I want to put some Edith Holden in here. A lot of these base pages, I haven't put any Edith Holden stuff in. I'm going to pile that on. after but this one will basically be finished when I'm done with this so this is gonna have to have its gosh that would be gorgeous it just barely doesn't work just barely doesn't work I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Where are you at? Oh, 
This one's too small. I think this one's too small too. Yeah, it's gonna have to be this one, but this, it says it was for thick paper, and so it doesn't work on anything but thick paper. Oh, it worked. No, not really. I might have to just distress that just just a tiny bit. So we are going to get vaccinated today for COVID. I talked to one of the doctors yesterday at our clinic here and they were saying that um, this latest and greatest uh, booster is really formulated for the Omicron variant and they're, they're seeing good results as far as like people who contract the variant, their symptoms aren't as life-threatening. You know, anytime you can stop something from being life-threatening, I think that's a great plan. <laughs> so. And I have had friends who've gotten the vaccination, this newest one, and uh, some had no symptoms, which I think one of my boosters, I had no symptoms. And that's kind of disappointing. You do kind of want some symptoms. You want your immune system to kick in. So, you know, if you have a little bit of a fever and you feel kind of achy, that's because your immune system is saying, oh my gosh. We don't recognize this. Let's build some antibodies to fight this. It, this isn't good. And that's exactly what it's supposed to do, right? We know that the idea of not, you know, it doesn't work like, like polio vaccine where you get the vaccination and you don't get polio or TB or pertussis, you know, you don't get the disease. It doesn't work like that. What it does is it ramps up your immune system so that your body recognizes it next if you get exposed and you can, your immune system is prepared to fight it. And so, I, in my opinion, and I am not a doctor, but I always feel a little bit better when I have a little bit of a response. Oh, this is not straight. I thought that was the second page. Yikes. Oh. Dang it. Ooh, it's not going to work. Okay. Well, we're going to do something different. Okay, so what are we gonna do different here? Darn it, I thought that was the second page. I probably should start putting like a little, oh, darn it, I probably should start putting a little, like a white piece of paper or something in there. Hmm. have an idea. Hold on. Pardon me while I grab something fantastic. Let's put a magnet on there. This is going to be sweet. 
probably should be distressed though. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What I'm thinking is if I put this here, it will crease down the center and go, you know, like so. I'll put a magnet here and a magnet under there, but I have to fix this. I have a boo-boo. What do you think the chances are that I could pull something like that off and it won't look silly? Angela could do it because she would measure it to the precise, precise nth degree. She could totally pull it off, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that proficient. Let's face it, I'm just not that dedicated. Okay. So if this goes, see, it's not going to match up. Darn it. Let's see. Is it really going to be noticeable? I don't think so. Oh my gosh, we had a storm last night. I love a storm. My kids will call me and say, Mom, look outside. Or, Mom, look where we're having and where we're at right now. You know, they know I just love a storm. I know this isn't straight. Angela, don't work. Don't, don't look. I love the... What is, I love the majesty of it all. The sound and the energy of it and the... Oh, I just love a good storm. It feels like it just clears the world and, you know, just I just love it. Now... Let's see if we've solved the problem. Not quite, there we go. Okay. All right, I do believe that. So let's let it sit and think about itself for a second while we get our magnet ready. I'm gonna try to pick up speed here. So we can get as much done as we can. Tell you what, magnets are a good thing to save your 40% coupon on because at Michael's or somewhere because they're not cheap. Well, for heaven's sakes. Come on. Yeah, we even had tornado warnings. And a tornado set down about um, 15 minutes from us. Uh, 
I am making arrangements for birthday month. had to order something special for birthday month. Okay, what just happened? Okay, there's one. Come here, you little bugger. Okay. Phew. Now, what I'm thinking is, of course, I have to turn that over, but magnet and magnet, right? But I have to have something over that. And it will need to be something cute. What about this? You're not going to see a lot of it, but no. that doesn't do it for me. What about, what about just something like this? That's party. I believe that. Time for her manicure. So this will go Yeah, this goes like this. Let's put a little fabric tack on there. Just because I don't it's something other than paper, so There's no way I want this to fall off. I can't have those sticking together just yet. So I gotta separate them. Lucky me. Okay, let's put this one over here. <laughs> Go. Okay. I think I want it about right there, but we're going to hold off just a second. And we're going to fold this in half, so it's going to go this way. And I can already kind of see a problem. I want this to flip, and it's too fragile. So I'm going to slide it over here like that. And this is too fragile. This is going to have something behind it. But my glue is drying, so I need to know how far this is going to go over so that I can glue that down, and then I can fix this issue. So let's do that. Okay, that is the last page. Okay. 
So it's going to go over like about right there, right? But if I put something over, I think it could go like about right here. We're going to find out because I'm going to glue it down. Let's put something behind this. It's just not strong enough. Oh, I know. I had a little piece of that lace. There it is. Yeah, this will be gorgeous. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Um, mm. maybe, hmm, I wonder if I should put the magnet between, right, you see what I'm saying, maybe I should put the magnet in here. go about right there. I'm going to cut this out and see because I, I think that might work. Yeah, I'm getting ready for birthday month, guys. So October is pre-birthday month. November is birthday month. And if I play my cards right and everything turns out like I have planned, we're going to have a month-long celebration on my channel. I, um, I always celebrate birthday month. I didn't used to, but... As of the last few years, I'm grateful to have a birthday. So I like celebrating the whole month. I've even extended it to pre-birthday month, which is October. Oh, that's much better. So let's fold it like it was. Let's keep that same crease so we don't stress this paper out too much. Okay, oh, that's gonna be great. Okay, and then So all the things that I've ever said about how I craft are out the window. I don't clean up after. I don't clean up before I film. I don't do any. I don't put things away. I've totally lowered the bar, guys. So this would go. Oh, this is fun. Like this and the magnet would go somewhere around here. Yeah, and it still has a draw to it, so I think I will. I think I will put it on that, on there like that. Let's get this off.
got it. Looks awesome. I need something to cover that with, though. I don't care for... Where's the corners? There it is. I realize I probably did that the hard way, guys. Um, magnets just kick my trash. I don't understand them. Now my idea is that this will have a tuck. I mean, a, you know, a card or something in it. So you'll go like this. Filming? Should we put one over here or not? Hmm. I say yes, let's do it. Hopefully this one will go faster. So now this one we already know from experience where everything goes. Sherry, how are you doing? I think about you, girl. No wonder, putting this on the back side, is that going to mess up with the other magnets? You know what I mean? On the other side? Hmm. So let's just put it right there. Ooh, it's stuck to the magnet on the other side. Hmm, that's a little concerning. Maybe we just want to do something like this. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. So yeah, we had huge storm, thunder, lightning, pouring rain, wind, high wind warnings. Unfortunately, there was a horrific accident on one of the old back roads. And um, big storm, great big storm last night. And it rained a lot of the night. My dogs were up and down, up and down, up and down. And now it's calm. We've got a breeze and it's overcast. It's actually beautiful. Really, really pretty. 
outside. Really mellow. Now, in theory, I should be able to take this little magnet right here, right? And put it. Okay, so I gotta get the back off first, then. It's actually a perfect crafting day. Let's, let's put some Fabri-Tac on here. I believe that. But now we have to have that little corner piece. What did I do with all my scraps? There they are. You won't be able to notice that this is a scrap and it's not perfect or anything through that lace. I just want something that blends in. This will be fine. Okay, now. And then I'm thinking for October, I'm kind of thinking ahead a little bit. Um, I'm thinking about getting my Christmas stuff done. I don't know if I'm going to do a December daily this year. It works, that's for sure. <laughs> Bugger, don't you dare. I'm a little concerned about if that's going to dry correctly. So... I'm going to drape it over something that's not very dangerous, like that right there. Okay. Let's see if our buttons are dry. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, you know, just a little too damp, but I think they'll work. I think we can make it work.
Okay, I picked out some tops for these, so let's put those on. It looks like I've already got that one on. Not sure how I did that, but... There is going to be a grand giveaway. Tammy will do one. I will do one. Um, at the end of this collaboration. So I hope y'all are um, participating and watching the videos all the way through and, and uh, hitting that thumbs up and stuff because that was that's gonna matter and it's not too late. So if you just caught this video and you are in the month of October 2022, you are still, you're, you've got tons of time. Go back to the other videos and it will tell you what you need to do in each video. I still haven't done the drawing for the one through five. I need to get that done. Okay. Yeah, I like those buttons. Those are cute. They're still a little gluey. I hope that doesn't mess me up. Let's see what we have here. So, sew your buttons. Let's see. This will go like this. This is going to go like that. And there will be a button here and a button there. And I had other things sitting here. I probably just pushed everything off onto the, I did. And let me grab some string. How to pick a color. Let's find the center of these buttons. No, we're not going to measure. Close your eyes, Angela. Buttons and magnets all in the same video. What am I doing to myself? This is one of those times when this little thing pays for itself. Because it, it really is a pain if you don't have it. Okay, now I want... A long toothed, I don't know if that's what it's called, but 
I want to, those aren't long enough, I don't think, but this one is, and I think that gray silver look will go nicely there. Let's see, do we want black or silver? Let's do this dark pewter. I don't know what it's called, but they have longer teeth. Prongs. Prongs is what I'm trying to say. Do I want a whole reinforcer right there? Maybe so. I had some pulled out and then I put them away or knocked them off. But I, th I think I think it'd be a good idea to have them. Yeah, I think plain's fine. It's just one more layer of paper just to protect it. And I like the looks of it. It does feel strange not to distress it though. Okay. Now what I've done in the past is put these in here, poke them through, and then put another set of this on the back side. But I've already got these lined, and I really like the way they look. So I wonder if I could just, I think I'll try to do it without, I think, I don't know how to describe what I'm thinking, but let me see if I can pull it off. You'll see. So this would go like so. Yeah, that's right. Then, oops. I've got so much sticky glue on my hands. I really need to wipe them off. Okay, so we'll keep that like that. Turn it over. Right, put this through here and wrap it around a couple times just for added security. And then open it up, but put glue down first. I hope I'm doing this right. I've done it bass backwards several several times. It works, but there's a definitely a smoother way. Okay, now. I think maybe that would be the let's put that on the top like so. Oh, hold on. Wait, whoa. 
punch the hole in the, oh, whoever was screaming at me, thank you. My angels are looking out for me today. Okay, hurry, 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 hurry. It's gotta go through here or it isn't gonna do anything. Right? That was a close one. Turn it, turn it, turn it. So it's hanging down. But I don't want it to go to this. How's that going to happen? I'm going to put another one in there. Yeah, I am, because I don't like that. I'm making this much harder than it needs to be, guys. So this is not a tutorial. That's my disclaimer. But this will make the button just a little bit harder. And it'll get rid of that threat that it's going to glue down to this paper. Okay. Okay. That's cute. We have a button the hard way. Okay, keep that just like that and glue this down. And and where's my there it is. How long does it take to put a button on a page? Well, <laughs> okay, that's going to be cute. All right, let's do this one. Let's punch the hole so we don't forget. I really don't recommend doing it like I'm doing it because I got glue inside there and that is not good. Okay, I have an extra one for in here. And where is my, there it is. Okay, so this is gonna go in here, right? And this one, we don't have the string, so. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Then it goes in here. Yep, I like the paper match. And then we're going to flange those out and put some glue on them and call it a day. Dahlia, 
comment below where you're at in your videos. I went to your channel, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday was kind of a tough day for me, guys. And I had stuff here that I just, I absolutely had to do. And I got a lot of it done, but oh, I needed a lot of help. And I, I'm trying to keep up on videos, but... Oh, do you like it? That's going to be great. Isn't that going to be great? I think it already is great. Okay, so let's glue this down. And then this will have another piece of paper or fabric. I thought about fabric. I don't like that. I love it. I love it. Okay, so then it goes like this. And maybe we'll hang a charm. Or maybe we won't. Well, I'm way over time. I hate to make these long videos, but... Um, so this is... I gotta have to confirm which video it is so let me look up my channel here because the videos are starting to run together a little bit yes this is video seven okay video seven your word that you're going to want to put in the comments thumbs up make sure you're subbed your word is and a and like Nancy, D like dog, and and if you are um, following Tammy, make sure you've got all of your words and things acknowledged. I don't know if she's asking you to put them in her. I think she's asking you to keep track. But either way, do that. You're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna want to do that. There's a grand prize. Oh, you guys. And see, there'll be a card that goes, I don't know, it won't be this one, but there'll be a card that goes, well, maybe it could be this one. Mm, almost, not quite. That was worth the time. So let's see on this one. That is freaking adorable. Adorable. So we got two pages done, which doesn't really seem like a lot. And we still have cards and things to make for them, but I like it. Cute. We still have, what's going on with this? Why are you doing that to me? Don't do that. We still have one, so we're gonna have to have a pocket or something there. Two, pocket or something here. We'll probably have maybe just three pages to get a base down and then we're gonna go back and embellish and make cards and corners and tucks and 
all of that jazz. And so here's the book. It's filling out nicely. Thank you so much for all of you, for all your comments and participation. It, you know, why would I do this otherwise? It's so fun meeting all you guys. Please go check out Tammy's channel, Angela's channel, Dahlia's channel, Shannon's channel. Shannon has her new October kit out. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it is. They all are. It's beautiful. I don't know. Uh, she's had it out for a few days, so it may be sold out. But go look. Don't, don't take my word for it because I was wrong last time. So go check it out. And if you have not ever bought one of her kits, you won't be disappointed. They're, they're worth the money you spend, and they're fun. And she gives you so much stuff to play with. So go check out Shannon's channel over at Mixed Media Minnesota. Go over there and say, hey, girl, Carol sent me. Um, let's see what else. Don't forget your word, and, A-N-D. And I hopefully I'll be able to do another video. This I've been planning to do two a day and I haven't got to it yet, but I realize we're on the home stretch. Today's the 21st, so we have 10 days. Fun. Fun. Thanks for following along, guys. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.